So, Night of Champions is coming up. We all know that. Anyways, if you guys don't know who this is, this is Chase Oliver 68. Make sure you guys subscribe to my channel. Check out CO Live videos, my video game channel. And, 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 follow me on Twitter at Chase Oliver 68. But, anyways, I was thinking to myself, you know, just sitting here on a boring Thursday night. And I was like, you know, Night of Champions is coming up. Just some random thought. And I was like, man, dude, I'm not really that excited for this show. And then I was thinking about the champions. And I was thinking about one belt in particular. And people may be thinking, I'm talking about the WWE Championship belt. Oh, I wasn't thinking about the WWE Championship belt. Maybe it was the World Heavyweight belt. How we're seeing Sheamus and Del Rio fucking fight for how many times? Shit, I don't even care anymore. Uh, no, I wasn't thinking about the World Heavyweight Championship belt. I was thinking about the IC title belt. And I was like, man, what happened to that belt? Literally, what happened to the IC title? I mean, the last time the IC title, I would say, was relevant and people were excited about it. And honestly, it's not because this guy hold it. I mean, I'm a fan of this superstar. Don't get me wrong. I'm a fan of this superstar. But I feel the last time the IC title was really relevant was when Cody Rhodes got rid of the um, design that we had and brought back the old design. That was the last time I ever felt, you know, oh, this Intercontinental title means something, and then Cody Rhodes with the feud with Randy Orton afterwards, I thought it means something, then afterwards, the IC title just kind of felt like, meh, whatever, it's just the IC championship again, and I just remember, you know, the history and the and the glory of the IC championship, you know, superstars like Shawn Michaels, Bret Hart, Mr. Mr. Perfect, yeah, he held the title, Razor Ramon, and, you know, all those guys, you know, you just think of the history of behind it, and you see some of those guys, you know, even though Mr. Perfect and Razor Ramon never won, you know, the WWF championship, they, they were still main players in the WWF and became main players even when they went on to WCW. Well, Mr. Perfect, I think, stayed in WWF. I can't remember if Mr. Perfect was in WCW. Sorry, guys, I'm only 19. I don't know everything that happened in the early 90s. But moving on forward, you know, I just look at that. And Shawn Michaels, Bret Hart, former... IC champions, world champions, and then you go on to Stone Cold, The Rock, Triple H, and that, you know, Attitude Era bunch, you know, former IC champions, world champions, you know, Rob Van Dam, Benoit, um, Guerrero, uh, there's one more person, oh, Y2J, you know, in the 2000 type of era, you know, they were world champions after becoming IC champions, and it felt like, you know, the IC championship, it meant a lot. When you held the IC championship, it really made you felt like, you know, this guy is an important aspect of the show. You know, becoming the Intercontinental Champion, it's not only becoming a champion of, you know, it's not only just becoming, you know, a second-tier champion, but it's also becoming a champion that means bright things in the near future for you. It's like a stepping stone, like I said earlier, to the World Heavyweight title. Nowadays, it just feels like the Intercontinental title is a prop. And really, to be honest, the IC title, uh, let me just say this, the IC Championship has always been my favorite championship belt. I, I, I'm here to admit it. The Intercontinental title has always been my favorite belt. And you guys may be wondering, why was the Intercontinental Championship my favorite belt growing up? Why wasn't the WWE or the World Heavyweight Championship? Although the WWE Championship had, like, a lot of my favorites in it, like, especially when I started watching, like, Stone Cold, Triple H, and The Rock, and there was more interesting feuds going on around that time, and even to this day, you know, there's more WWE Championship-oriented focus, the IC belt always just stood out to me. You know, I always saw guys that you know would always work hard to keep that belt and made that belt feel more meaningful. And every time I saw an IC title match on a pay-per-view or just an IC title match in general, I would smile ear to ear. You know, one of my favorite, you know, moments when I went to a, a, a live show was I went to a Raw Super Show, a uh, Raw SmackDown Super Show, and I, I was so happy when I heard there was going to be a fatal four-way for the Intercontinental title. I, you don't understand. I was smiling ear to ear because I was just like, I can't wait. I love the IC Championship. Because I just felt, you know, the IC Championship. When you look at it and you look at what it's supposed to do, I just feel it's no longer the belt that it used to be. I miss the old days when the IC Champion, he would come out and he was a big deal on Monday Night Raw. Like, you know, the IC Champion, even though he wasn't the WWE Champion, that guy right there, or even the World Heavyweight Champion, that guy right there, he could compete with the WWE Champion. He could compete with the World Heavyweight Champion. He was on that same level of standard. Hell, you know, the IC Championship, you know, was on the level sometimes where even main event over the champ world championship. 
people would clamor to be the IC champion. Now it just feels like, you know, oh, cool, you're the IC champion. And you walk around with this belt, and it's just a prop. I mean, you just have it because they just need titles to fill. And I'm thinking to myself, why? Why, why is the IC title not getting the respect it deserves? Why is the Intercontinental title, you know, not being as prestigious as it was? Why is it that, you know, we're not getting huge time feuds for the IC title? We're not, we, we no longer get feuds that mean something for the IC title. I mean, the last feud I would say that we got, you know, really meaning something for the IC title, and I'm being dead honest here. This, this is my, my honest opinion on the last feud we got where the IC title, like, meant everything in the world to these guys was Chris Jericho and Rey Mysterio. I feel Chris Jericho and Rey Mysterio was the last feud that we got where the IC title really shined and it showed, you know, it doesn't matter if you're a former main eventer um, going down to the mid card fighting for it, it's still just the luster of being the IC champion is what drives that superstar. And I just don't feel, you know, nowadays it's like that, that there's any luster to it. I don't feel like, you know, there's any meaning of having the belt there. And that hurts me to say that because, you know, that being my favorite championship belt, and I know a lot of people um, wonder about people's favorite championship belts but because that's my favorite. And my favorite championship belt is now demoralized into just a useless prop to me. I mean, Cody Rhodes, even though, you know, he brought back the IC title and he was holding it up and he was like, oh, yeah, the old school belt, I was happy about that. But even then, you look at his reign, and a lot of people said he did great stuff as IC champion. I think he was a good IC champion. I want to say a great IC champion. He was a good IC champion. I mean, he definitely added more flavor to it. The Booker T feud was an awesome feud, but I wouldn't say it was like the the best IC feud in a long time. I mean, like I said, the best IC last best IC title feud I think was Jericho and Mysterio. But you you guys can argue and debate with me there. I love arguing and debating, but you know, it just feels that it's like. What's the point of even having the IC belt? And and that's what I want to know from you guys. Do you even see a point of even having the IC title? Do you feel like the IC title is no longer the belt it used to be? And, and tell me, what are some of your favorite championships? Is the IC belt one of your favorite titles ever? Uh, please comment down below your thoughts on, you know, the Intercontinental Championship, uh, its status right now, uh, the Miz's status as IC champion, because right now I just feel the Miz is just whatever with that IC belt. and. And in all honesty, I just wish there was more feuds for it. I wish that it was on the level where the IC champion, it felt important again. Please tell me down below your thoughts on the Intercontinental Championship, like I said earlier. Um, favorite belts, favorite IC title feuds. Um, your, In your opinion, what was the last great IC title feud? Because, like I said, I thought Chris Jericho and Rey Mysterio was the last great one. But uh, you guys can go more further into detail what you think is the last great one. But anyways, this is Chase Oliver 68. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys check out my other channel, my Twitter. You know, like I said earlier in the intro, um, subscribe, like. I'll see you all later. Enjoy your weekend. I'm going to have a special podcast coming up on Friday, maybe Saturday. Depends on my editing skills because I suck at editing. So make sure you guys check that out. It's my buddy, Alan. Um, but yeah. I'll see you all later.